Kevin Blackwell. That was hard work out there, I'd imagine, in the heat. Yes, it was sitting on that bench. Very hot. What about the team? They performed reasonably well. Perhaps not the best of opposition, or certainly not the best team they'll face this season, but they did the job. I have to say, you ask me questions every week, and I think you're the most negative person I've ever come across. So uh, if you want to rephrase the question, I'll answer it. How do you think Luton played today, then? That's better. You know, if you can't be positive, I'll not bother coming on the radio to answer things from you. That's an opposition that's got to be beaten, right? It could have been five or six by half time. We put on a good, good performance. Um, and if we'd have done that last week, we'd have got a result at Swindon as well. So we've learned a lot of things today. If you don't earn the right to play, um, it doesn't matter how bad the opposition is, you'll not beat them. Were you disappointed with the goal you conceded? Bitterly disappointed because we talk about set plays and how key they are. Uh, but someone was designated to Mark Bentley, and uh, we know who that is, and he's held his hands up. But, you know, they lose you and can cost you games. So, um, disappointed with that aspect. The team looked better for the return of David Bell after injury. Yeah, I mean, it was unfortunate. We lost Billy um, pre-season at, at Stevenage with a torn calf, and uh, we had to make sure that it was fit and sharp when he came back. And thankfully, like he came back today, and he looked, he looked really positive today. And, uh, you know, he opened up... Um, a defence that, that that was very poor, according to yourself, you know what I mean? So, pleased with him. What about David Edwards, Darren Curry? You could pick out most of them, couldn't you? You know, David Edwards went there and was captain, made captain of Wales, scored a very good goal. Um, and I thought him and Springy were excellent first half. Really were excellent. Never allowed them to make any uh, foothold in the game whatsoever. And, you know, created a lot of chances. I mean, uh, I think David Edwards had two or three chances himself. And he's a midfield player. So, yeah, fairly pleased. And what about David Ford in goal? He didn't have too much to do. No, but I think the everything else as a goalkeeper, it's great to come to a club and you know win in your first game and not have a lot to do. So um, you know, a long way that continue. You were forced into that because of injuries to your other keepers. Brilliant, obviously hurt himself in training. Uh, sorry, in the game at Swindon, and we were hoping that he'd be fit by Thursday. But clearly, when he when he wasn't going to be anywhere near fit, we were really on the lookout then for for a goalkeeper. And uh, Dave Jones asked the you know answered the call from Cardiff and. You know, Fordy came up and, uh, like I say, yeah, what he had to do today, you know, was nice and easy, but uh, it's always nice to come and win, as I say. How long is Dean Brill likely to be out? Well, he's under the medical department and uh, they'll let me know, but I, I don't think it's going to be too long. And what is the injury? It's a thigh. And what about Zach Barrett and Marlon Beresford, their sidelined? Well, Zach's had a cartilage out, I think, last Tuesday, a week last Tuesday, so it'll be six to seven weeks. and. Uh, Marlon has a, a, a bit of an injury in the back that's that's uh, being managed really and uh, at an MRI on, on Monday so we know exactly where we are with that one and I don't think Marlon will be too far either. I know managers say every game's tough but honestly can you sit there and say that was a decent Gillingham side this afternoon? Well, um, you know if you look at Manchester United who spent 60-70 million pounds uh, and they can't win and then when we win games and people say to me that's not a good side I think it's the most difficult uh, situation you can put yourself into. Now, if you're going to ask me questions that are always negative, I don't know why you bother reporting on Luton Town. Well, your job's to spin the positive, isn't it? You can say what you think. Yeah, but then, you know, why don't you come up and ask positive questions yourself? I hate to work for you because you're so negative that I think I'd cut my throat working for you. Well, that's your opinion. Um, no, that's a What fact. about Tuesday night? Well, there'll be a crap side from Sunderland here, no doubt, and uh, no matter what we do, it won't be good enough for you. It may be if you win. Well, I don't know. I'm sure you'll find a, a negative somewhere along the line to talk about. Will you field a full-strength team? I'm not going to tell you, because if I do, it'll be because uh, we, we beat Sunderland with a, a full-strength team and they were under strength. You'll come up with something that's negative about it, I'm sure. Presumably, you're expecting to do a lot better than the last day of the championship season. I just think that we've got to make sure that we go out and compete. If we don't compete, we'll end up with a score like uh, like the last day of last season. So that's first and foremost. And then what will be after that will be. Are you expecting Roy Keane to bring his first team? I'm not Roy Keane, I don't know. But you're expecting uh, the sort of performance you got from your players today? Well, according to you, it wasn't a very good performance because it was against a weak team. So if we play like we've played today uh, against a strong Sunderland side, then clearly we're going to get beat. Kevin Blackwell, thank you very much. Lovely, thank you.